spent last night in this monastery in northern Spain thinking about redemption and salvation. You see, for Belgian champion Remco Evenepoel, it's been an up and down ride in this Vuelta España. We all remember back to the start of the Vuelta when it took off, there was that wet time trial in the dark. Remco was pissed. Then the next stages, Remco further upset, wins a stage, but crashes into a barrier. Goes along well, then the big disaster, the Tourmalet stage, losing 27 minutes. And then yesterday, the Remco, the King Remco of Belgium that we all know and love, comes back, wins a stage. Is it redemption? Well, I'm on my way to the start of stage 15. We're nearly done with the second of this three chapter drama, the Vuelta España. I want to find out, has Remco now proven himself as a Grand Tour star, someone who could go on to potentially win the Tour de France or at least challenge for the Tour de France already in 2024 against the likes of super teams, Jumbo Visma with their star riders, Jonas Vingago and Primoz Rolich. Did the stage yesterday to Belagua symbolize salvation Redemption for this young Belgian star? Who knows? And here in Pamplona, we're gonna discover, find out more about Remco. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, it doesn't surprise me. I think he's a superstar of the sport, and when he's on a good day and wants to win, uh, he does what he did like yesterday. And... It's uh, super unpredictable, and it wouldn't surprise me if you went and did it again today. Sometimes it's a hard hit, but uh, you need just to, to be smart enough and to be calm enough to really accept it, and that's why I let it go till 30 minutes uh, one day, and then the day after I tried to fight back, and it, it ended up pretty well. So uh, I think the biggest lesson is just never give up. That's the Sudal quick step bust right there. That's the big team of Patrick Lefebvre. He signed Remco Evenepoel when he was 18 years old. The kid has just won the TT and Road Race Junior World Championships. Does his first race when he's 18, turning 19 at the Tour San Juan. I was there, he didn't win the race, won the youth classification. Where am I going with this? I just wanna lay some groundwork to help you understand his grand tour potential, or perhaps if he has any potential. He wins a lot of one day races. San Sebastian right away, the classic of San Sebastian. He's now won it three times. He's won it for the third time this year. He wins the World Championships last year, the road race, the time trial this year. He wins Liege Beston Liege, drops Tom Pitcock, goes on to a solo victory. He's an amazing rider. But let's consider for one minute his Grand Tour history. His first Grand Tour, the Giro d'Italia in 2021, doesn't finish. In fact, the only Grand Tour he's finished to date was the Grand Tour he won last year in the Vuelta España. An amazing win, but perhaps all the big rivals weren't there. He got maybe we could say lucky with Primoz Rolich crashing out, and it wasn't a high mountain Grand Tour as we've seen with the Tour de France and the Giro d'Italia. So there's still a lot of question marks, a lot of doubters around Remco Evenepoel. Even if he's won a Grand Tour, something that many riders wish to do and haven't done in their careers. So a lot of that potential was going to be discovered in this Vuelta España this year, but then he loses those 27 minutes in the Tour Malay stage, and we're still wondering what happened. He said it was all the races he did before the Vuelta España, and a combination of that with bad legs. We still don't know. We're going to get to the bottom of it. A bad day doesn't change your career, no? Uh, also, he saw the character of yesterday winning the stage. So, for winning a victory, you need character, and he saw it, so for sure. Yeah, yeah. for him, it's uh, like uh, he, it was incredibly how many times he lost the one day. But to, yeah, yesterday he was again uh, very strong, and, and it says a lot of him mentally that he, yeah, that he was there yesterday and that he didn't like uh, just uh, lost the momentum completely, and uh, yeah. He's just up here, and I'm sure he will go for the Polka del Chirsi also now. I think I would still go full for him because, I mean, I also if you saw what he did yesterday, he's still young, so maybe he still have a few bad days. But, uh, yeah, what I said, he won already one Grand Tour, so why not another one? Wrapped up here, the buses, the teams are rolling out. We got the opinions of all the riders to find out about Remco Evenepoel. What happened? What was going on? 
and what they think about his future potential as a Grand Tour star and going on to win the Tour de France.